hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video so in this tutorial today i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further i do let's get started don't forget to subscribe if you are new here all right let's get started go to your file menu under your menu click on file then you select new or you press ctrl plus n then over here go to print then select a5 paper size because we are going to use a5 paper size then and change it to inches leave your resolution at 300 so this is for social media so we are going to make use of rogb color mode then if it is for printing then you change it to cmyk color mode okay then you click on grades this is our working background so the next thing we are going to do now we are going to copy this color code over here ctrl plus c to copy or you can right click and copy then go to your solid color select it and over here you can right click and paste it or you press ctrl plus v using your keyboard then ok to apply the color then now we are going to apply our background so over here i'm going to select this image and import it to photoshop then scale it just a little and drag it to the top over here then now we are going to rasterize it then hold your ctrl plus shift key then you press u for hue and saturation that is to apply black and white color on it then now we are going to apply our layer mask then you select your gradient tool over here and start blending it and the top here we are going to blend it just a little it's okay like that then change the blending mode to overlay and this is what you will have on this background now the next thing we are going to do now then we are going to then um, bring another background which is going to be this one then import it and drag it up over here then change the blending mode to screen then something like this apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool and you blend it over here and the top here you blend it so over here is the outcome of it then we are going to apply another image go to your resource file and the image we are going to use here is going to be this one over here then position it around here okay and change your blending mode to screen to screen then leave the opacity at all at 100 percent apply your layer mask and select your brush now you can see the outcome of this brush so why is it happen like this because our cap lock is on so we are going to turn it off so that it will come out this way now you blend it over here blend the edges okay then we are going to have something like this then i'm going to increase it something like this it's okay all right then having done that one now so the next one we are going to import this one over here then you bring it down position it over here 
and now the next thing we are going to do we are going to apply our blur then go to filter blur gaussian blur then i make use of 16.6 then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool or brush anywhere you want to use and blend the top here also the bottom here then i'm going to bring it down like this then select the layer mask and select your brush then i'm going to change this brush over here from black to white then i will clean up a little bit from this place okay then now i will turn it back to black and white all right so having done that one now so the next thing we are going to do then we are going to grade a rectangle at the bottom here then you leave the color black so if your own color is not black then you apply black color now i'm going to convert it to smart object then apply layer mask select gradient to and blend the top here Then also apply your filter blur, Gaussian blur, and make use of 16.6. Then okay. Now you can increase it a little. Something like this. So having done this one now, so the next one we are going to do, then we are going to Go back to our first image over here then and then use our mouse to take it up it's okay like this we are we are going to leave it this way okay so having done this one now so the next one we are going to do bring it down a little So that it's not going to be cut out in case you are going to print it so then go to your resource file and bring this logo here then rasterize it right click then and rasterize it then go and select your magic tool so this is magic tool then click here now we are going to delete it using our keyboard to delete then go to select and deselect it or you use ctrl plus d to deselect now reduce the size and over here you position it then go to your test tool, I mean your test document and make a copy of this Ctrl plus C to copy or you right click and copy it. Then select your test tool over here is your test tool. Then click on your design Ctrl plus V to paste. Now we are going to change the font color to white. And the font we are using here is Open Sans. Then you can use regular or semi bold. So anyone. Then I'm going to reduce the size. And now we position it over here. Now I'm going to open the space by 8%. Then I'm going to change it to semi bold. Then now Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one or 
simply you drag it over here to make a duplicate of it now i will bring this one down over here then select your test tool ctrl plus a to alight it and copy this one ctrl plus c to copy or right click and make a copy of it now ctrl plus v to paste and on this one i'm going to open the character spacing by 140 also change the font color to yellow or orange color something like this okay so what happened there my tools remove so i have to fix it back all right so now we are going to make a copy of this one ctrl plus c to copy or you can right click and copy it using your mouse then you select your test tool and now we are going to change the font to white then you click here ctrl plus v to paste and on this test now we are going to change the font to bebas so and i'm going to make use of bebas regular increase it and bring it down this way now then i'm going to reduce the character spacing by minus 16 like this then increase the size then i'm going to duplicate it drag it over here to make a duplicate and bring this one down then select your test tool ctrl plus a to alight it then go to your test and make a copy of this one then ctrl plus v to paste now increase the size this way to align it together then hold your shift key while you drag it down something like this okay so i'm going to hold my shift key then select the two tests and drag it up then always zoom in and zoom out so that you can see how your work will come out so okay, like this okay so having done this one so the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going back to this position then click on this test here why we are going to select a rent angle to and over here we are going to draw a rent angle then change the color to red and now select your test tool then make it white and change the font so we are going to make use of Beba font here then also make use of Beba's regular and here I'm going to copy this one 
Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I will position this one over here. Then hold your shift key while you rotate it. Something like this. Then now select the rectangle, apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool and blend it like this. Okay. Then I'm going to make a duplicate of this one. Ctrl plus J or you drag it over here. So this one now I'm going to take it and position it around the end. Alright. Now I'm going to change this test here. Then I'm going to type this one manually. hallelujah so now having done this one now so the next one we are going to do then we are going to create another rent angle like this then change the color to red and over here we are going to apply a corner shape over there okay 78 then this one i'm going to turn off this link and this one i'll make it zero then it's going to be like this then select the test go to your select under the menu and select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then go back and deselect ctrl plus d now go to your test document and i'm going to make a copy of this one right click and copy your test then select your test tool or you press here now Ctrl plus V to paste and I'm going to change the font to open sans and this one make it bold then the character spacing then apply zero and position your test over here then you can increase it a little but wait so now make a copy of this one then we are going to duplicate this one drag it over here and bring it down then select your test to highlight it ctrl plus a to highlight then ctrl plus v to paste now increase the size so hold your shift key while you select the test then i'm going to increase it this way then on this one i'm going to reduce the character spacing by minus 60 percent then you can now increase it this way all right so having done this one i'm going to select a line then i'm going to draw a line over here then turn off the fill color then apply white color and increase the size by 4% then make a duplicate of this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you drag it over here then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool 
highlight it ctrl plus a and ctrl plus v to paste then now duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you bring it down highlight it ctrl plus a then go to your test document and make a copy of this one then ctrl plus v to paste now we are going to increase the size then use your arrow key then to bring it down to apply that space there then i'm going to duplicate this line over here then take it up then i'll position it over here now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then bring it over here select your test tool ctrl plus a to alight then you can type it now increase the size then select your test tool and over here then i'm going to type am and i'll position it over there so if you want you can increase the test a little it's okay all right so having done this one so the next thing we are going to do then go back to your resource file and i'm going to import the location then reduce the size then you bring it over here then ctrl plus u for hue and saturation then take this one over here to apply white background color and come over here to make a copy of this one then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to change it from bold to regular something like this then use your arrow key then to take it up then i'm going to group it by clicking on this folder here now you can select all then apply vertical alignment then go back and deselect or you press ctrl plus d to deselect then i'm going to create a rectangle then i'm going to change the color to red then i'll place it over here then i will select this one then bring it down a little then go back to your resource file and over here i'm going to import this one then change the blend mode to screen reduce the size then position it over here okay so now let's go to our test and apply a drop shadow then now apply this setting over here
then go to texture then apply this texture now you can use your mouse to apply the depth then on this depth i'm going to make use of 200 so let's zoom it out so that we can see the outcome of it so arrange it properly until you get what you want so there are many of them here so you can select any one So I change it to this one over here. Then I'm going to make the depth 200 so you can see the outcome now. Then the scale, I will process it like this to see the outcome. think this one is going to be okay it's going to be okay like this then i'm going to apply it now hold your alt key and drag it over here then the same thing will apply to this one so that is it all right so as you can see now we are done with the tutorial on this one so the last one i'm going to apply now is this light flare here then position it over here then go to your blending mode and use screen I will increase it a little it's okay like this so that is all thank you so much for following if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe then and share it then also another tips I'm going to share with you then if you want to order for any of my design or flyer you want to order any flyer please go to the link in the descriptions and order through my fiverr account also if you want to create a fiverr account either as a seller or as a buyer then the link is there to create a new account and two body is there which i use to optimize my video then you can also create your account using the link in the description to create your own two body account and optimize your video so and so forth thank you so much for following don't forget to join the membership channel so that you can also benefit the psd file that i'm going to share to any of my fans over there thank you so much i really appreciate your following don't forget to subscribe